You are watching With a Cup of Tea, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings. Now, here's our show. Welcome to This House of Books, With a Cup of Tea. We have with us today author John Axlein, who's a historian with the Montana Department of uh, Transportation. 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 Yes. So, John, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, uh, my name's John Axlein. I'm a... I'm a Montana native. I was born and raised here. Uh, raised partially in Billings, and but mostly in Helena. And um, I uh, got a degree in, in history, um, Montana history specifically, at Montana State University in Bozeman in the mid-1980s. Um, I've been working as an historian ever since. And uh, but I have been with the Department of Transportation since 1990. And they've pretty much given me uh, the free reign in, in, in doing different historical subjects as long as they pertain to the highway department somehow. Well, you, uh, you also are the guy who writes the uh, highway signs, yep, I write historical the, markers. Yep, I write the highway historical markers mm -hmm. and keep them you know, current as much as I can. If, mm -hmm. if something needs to be repaired or rewritten, that's, that's part of my job. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, John's done, uh, he has a current book out. Uh, Montana Highway Tales, and uh, I think I'll just get out of your way. Why don't you tell us about the book? All right. Well, Montana Highway Tales is a collection of short subjects, short chapters about different historic sites in Montana. That uh, some of them I've, I've worked on as sites through my job at the Montana Department of Transportation. Some of them I've just kind of been interested in and, and worked on over the years. Uh, there is one guilty pleasure chapter in there about uh, a film taken in 1950. It was the first time that UFOs have been caught on film, and it happened here in Great Falls, Montana. So I just figured that this was a good place to put it because I didn't know what else I was going to do with it. <laughs> but I figured I, I had to get it out there. So uh, most of the sites um, are fairly close to the road. Some of them have... You know, interesting stories, I think. Some of them a little, um, maybe a little, I can't think of the term, a little risque, maybe, yeah. in regards to the, uh, the chimney up in uh, south of Haver. But all of them, I think, are important to understanding Montana history and the different, um, the wide variety of historic properties there are around the state, besides just the usual places like buildings and, and uh, battlefields and, and that type of thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave that, uh, the, your, your allusion to that story in Haver, uh -oh. just kind of on the table. I think people need to buy the book to get that. Um, it's, uh, it's a nice, interesting little story. It's a good story. I mean, oh, yeah. it's got it all. It's, it was scandalous when it happened in 1922 in, in Haver, and, and it still seems to be um, a, a, a subject that, the people in Haver were protecting back then, and they still are today. I remember when I first brought it up, when I was living up there and uh, for a year doing the historic building survey in the late 80s, and the guy that I was working with says, why do you have to bring that up? You can't, <laughs> isn't that something we can just forget about? Uh, well, John, tell me, tell me a little bit about who, who do you see as a potential audience for this? I mean, I, I'm seeing really practically everybody, but is there anybody in particular that... Well, I, you know, I wrote the book mainly because I, I like Montana history, and mm -hmm. I'm, I like the kind of more obscure parts yeah. of, of the state's history, the things that you don't think about. Maybe when you're driving down the road and you see something next to the highway, you think that, well, maybe that has some kind of importance to the state's history that we don't realize. So I really wrote it for everybody, for the general. It's, it's not anywhere close to an academic history. I was so happy mm -hmm. to not have to do footnotes for it. And um, so I think, you know, anybody interested in Montana history is going to enjoy mm -hmm. reading this book. And maybe people who aren't really particularly interested in Montana history might like it as well. Well, uh, you know, I'm thinking right now we have uh, a lot of tourists coming through Montana. Mm -hmm. um, I think they can learn a lot about the state yep. from this. Um, a lot of interesting details. And frankly, people who live in Montana I mean, I have to say, you know, there's a chapter in here about a little museum in Laurel. Oh, yeah. 
I worked in Laurel for decades. I mean, my, my office was headquartered out of Laurel. I never went to that museum. I've never seen it. Huh. And I'm learning about it here. Yeah. You have uh, th a couple, th three other books here, and I'm just gonna, gonna hold them up. Uh, the Beartooth Highway, which is uh, subtitled A History of America's Most Beautiful Drive. Um, Taming, the Big, Taming Big Sky Country, the history of Montana transportation from trails to interstates. And it's not a snoozer. Yeah. It's, it's not a cure for insomnia. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Montana's historic highway bridges 1860 to 1956. There's a big sticker up here that says conveniences sorely needed, which uh, I would say probably still the case. But uh, these are all, uh, you know, I think very interesting books, and and frankly, even even as someone who was raised here, um, I I have to say, I learn a lot from these. So. All right, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah. So it's always good to learn new history. It Besides is. Copper Kings and the Custer go. Battle and the absolutely whole it is. Yeah. So. All right. Well. Thanks for joining us today. It was my pleasure. I had a good time and. Always glad to get out on the road yeah. and see new things. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. Okay. This has been a production of This House of Books. If you'd like to be a part of the cooperative, please visit thishouseofbooks.com slash get involved.